um, we had different sessions that, that spoke about water and the importance of water. Uh, I experienced a lot of, uh, the best word for it to me is knowledge. Uh, it showed you a lot about what water quality is actually about. Well, today I've learned about different water thing, uh, water utility treatments and things like that. And uh, also, they also told us how much they make a year. Well, I've met a lot of great staff, first of all. How they're uh, connected to the community and the things they do in the community, like fixing pipes, helping us get proper water. I didn't know water was so clean before they even cleaned it. And there's a whole bunch of work put in, in water for us to stay safe and healthy. The City of Dayton Department of Water's Water Career Conference is an opportunity that we've had for three years now that enables high school students to take a look at some of the careers within the water and wastewater industry. So today they're going to hear from different speakers who are uh, work in water, water professionals, whether it be in the um, flood protection work, so they're going to hear from engineers or building wastewater treatment plants or people that run drinking water plants. One of the things that the students will be able to do is to spend some time with employees that are in some of these jobs so that they can get a better understanding of what they do, what, they, what their days are like, and the types of things that can help prepare them to pursue similar careers. I think the conference is very beneficial to students. Uh, our students don't often uh, know what careers are related to water, and it was very interesting to hear the different types of careers that um, are found just here in Dayton working with water. This was a great opportunity for them to actually see other jobs, other experiences, other careers that they can actually um, make a, a nice salary on um, and enjoy doing. Over the next five years, we anticipate that about 30% of our workforce will be eligible for retirement. The jobs that they will be vacating will be perfect opportunities for high school students to begin thinking about and pursuing as their own careers. And so we see that it's really important to encourage people to go into this. We also feel like it's important to encourage um, students to appreciate water and value water in all the careers that they choose. Going into this career, we need, they need a lot of people. Um, I would love to go on this career only because they said that, that you're able to have family time in your career, a lot of careers you, you are, you're not able to have family time. Uh, the big thing that surprised me is how open that um, uh, the uh, employees are about their work. And they say it's more of a social work, some of them, and that's actually a good thing. Okay, we went to different stations and they told us about their jobs and stuff. And like I learned that you don't have to really go to college to get a good paying job. There are many different ways to get into water careers. There are careers that range anywhere from ones that require just a high school diploma to others that require various different types of certifications by the Ohio EPA, even to ones that require certain different types of degrees in specialized fields. And so, you know, there's a range of opportunities to go into water careers. I'm visiting from the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District in Cleveland, Ohio, so we could duplicate these type of efforts in Cleveland, Ohio. We work with our inner city schools as well. It's a great way to get students excited about water careers that they normally wouldn't know anything about. Just seeing the magnitude of a program like this has been interesting. I love seeing representation from a multitude of careers. I saw a jet vac truck outside and there's a river mobile in front of me. Just having those different options along with colleges representing the area has all been great takeaways. We've been thinking about careers in our state, water careers specifically, and we know that there's going to be a need to fill positions. So making sure that we have younger audiences learning about these positions will be essential in order for us to fill those positions for all of the uh, silver tsunami folks that they've been talking about that's moving on out of their careers. This year in environmental science, we conducted a water unit in which all the students had to test the local water. Um, they also had to test stream water. So this conference fit in right in um, our curriculum and with what the students are actually doing in the classroom. This is just a culminating activity for us for our students to be able to see the wonderful careers and all the opportunities they have in the area of water. Sophomore year we deal with uh, water quality and we tested the water at the Great Miami Valley River and stuff and that seemed fun to me. That seemed like something I would like to do. I think it influenced me because I actually, um, I'm in biotech and we actually are doing water quality. 
And the thing about it is, is before this, when I was a freshman and I wasn't in a career path yet, I, I, water quality would have never came into my mind. It, it never would have. And, and now, you know, I got way more knowledge about it, um, way more appreciative, really, really about, you know, about everything that they do. So I think that the, this shows how important it is. I also did learn about how they give internships during the summer. So if you wanted to do, um, get into the business of water utility treatment, you could start with internships over the summer and they are paid internships. Well, now that I have experienced this, I would love to go into engineering. Um, I would love to go into any type of engineering from civil, civil engineering to um, engineering management. Um, water engineering, maybe. I would like to get a PhD, actually. If there was one key message, besides, yes, I want to work in water, um, it would be that you can't live without water, we can't take it for granted, and we all have to work hard to protect it and keep it clean. Um, I have learned a lot about the water, about how it works. You need it to do everything. I'm just saying I'm happy that I actually got to come to this event because it definitely uh, showed me a lot about not just water quality, about any job. And I would just like to thank the Water Career Conference and the, all the people that helped us and that got us out here, give us the opportunity to come and see what, what they do. This is fun. They should do it again next year. <laughs>